everyone welcome back to my youtube channel i know it's been forever and i know that i did promise i was going to do better but see i've just been busy <laughs> that's but funny anyways i am so sorry welcome 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 how have you guys been hope you've been good because i have been good i'm not gonna lie god has been good to me and he's been faithful so me i've been fine <laughs> but Okay, you know what? I'm just going to introduce my sister Wait, here. And, because and I, I feel like why are you wasting time? I feel like she's so eager. Calm down. When you come on Tenny Air, you have to calm down. Because this is my channel, okay? Okay. Thank you. Anyways. So let me introduce to you my sister. One of my favorite human beings in the world. Yeah. What's yeah. your name? Can you tell us your name? Oh, I need to say, I thought you were going to introduce me. Like, ah, she's okay. supposed to do the full introduction. Let me introduce yes. her then. Hey, everybody. Okay. Give a warm welcome mm -hmm. to um. my one and only sister Victoria. Yay, yeah. 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 And there's a period. Okay. 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 Yeah. See, yeah. yeah. if you hear me scream. And shouting, it could only be for one person, and that's Star Victoria. Yeah, she brings mm -hmm. all the, all the something that is eaten within me. She brings it out. But no, I'm I'm, I'm actually Jane too. So sometimes you know. <laughs> ah, look at this, she's fine. Ah, look at us, she's fine. Baby girl, you too. You're looking so cute. And Thank you. Lovely and gorgeous. Thank you. The black ebony beauty. Mm -hmm. Huh, look, look at this gorgeousness. Gorgeousness. Now, let me tell you the reason behind this gorgeousness. It's only God. Hey, man! So if you don't have God in your life, you look. Um, oh, sorry. They but say you look just, ugly. Just, just have God in your life. That's just it. Basically, okay. if you are not a child of God, you are an ugly man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? No. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm kidding, y'all. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm just saying God is the reason for See, the glow. let me tell you something. It. This yeah. channel, they, they know that we are all about God. Yeah. On this exactly. channel. So, so mm -hmm. if you don't have God in your life, you are not beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. You can't have that glow. There's a special glow God's children have. You know what it comes from? It comes from the peace of mind God's children have. Right. Exactly. Hey! Exactly. <laughs> yep. Yep, yep. Okay. Okay. Anyway, I think you need to get serious now, right? Can we not be serious? That's what I was going to say. Like, I could try, but it's not going to last five seconds. Okay. But, um, <laughs> I even forgot what I was to say. Anyways, guys, the reason why we're doing this video okay. today, honestly, I don't even know. I was just like, I'm here. Like, so I'm like, and I have Star Victoria here. So we're going to do something, um, fun today, I guess. Mm, okay. So. I don't know how I'm going to like tie to this video, but I want to do something in the lines of like get to know me, mm -hmm. but through the lens of Sister Victoria, hmm. if that makes sense. So basically, like I'll ask some questions about okay. myself, and it's gonna be Sister Victoria answering the questions. Oh. So let's see if she really knows me. I didn't know that. But you know what? Before I think before we should do that, let's just talk briefly about how we met. Oh, God. Or how long we've known each other, right? Okay. Because I know, like, I don't know, for some people, they know that, okay, I am, like, the first child. And it's like, I'm over here since the Victoria. So, let me just talk about how... The Victoria, right? So, I met the Victoria five years ago, six years ago. Six. Mm. It's been, like, six years. No, it's five. Because it was the same year we... I started like the process that came. It was the same year today, the process you came. Yeah. Okay. And I've been here for... I was about... Almost six, like five, five plus. Mm. Anyway, so we met when we were both trying to come to the United States of America. And it was like, when we met, I think we had some things in common. Just, I think the only thing we had in common was the fact that you knew, like, the people that owned this, um, the high school I went to. Oh, yeah. I think I think that was what kind of, like, started, okay, like, deeper life. And then... Oh, you did that. <laughs> You did. That was how we met, right? So we just kind of had that in common, and yeah, we just became close. I didn't even know exactly how. You just, I mean, I'm a sweet baby girl. So if anything, you set your eyes on me, you were like, oh, it's that angel that fell from above. So I'm not gonna um, dis dispute this. Yeah, 
dispute the facts or what's the word? I don't dispute know. The fact, the fact that she's a sweet baby girl. Ah! Say that loud, loud, that loud. loud, loud. 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 Okay, she's a sweet baby girl. That's me. Mm -hmm. But that's not how we met, though. Like, I did not set my eye on her. She set, she, she set her okay, eyes I mean, on me. Don't blame me, okay? I was going to a place where I did not know anybody. I needed a small mom when I got there. I need wow. someone that be cooking for me. I so she of... just got you got close to me just because of the benefits I could give. To I didn't know that. Let me tell you something. In this life, there eh, we let me tell you. In this life, everybody Ooh. gets close to somebody. But anyway, for I remember a pepe chick I'm talking that she does for me. That's the only thing that I you know like, like I, I got from her. I feel like everyone like mm -hmm. that talks about me so it's like oh i remember a particular food she and i'm just like wow like she's a foodie i'm not a foodie i just enjoy cooking i am well, not she's a, she's a she's a cookie cookies whatever that is she's a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> cookie. no i don't that's the thing i don't enjoy food as much as i enjoy i don't enjoy eating food as much as i enjoy cooking eh? I, okay okay yeah okay. like no, for it's me it's more like it was more like i want to cook and make other people like I get joy or I derive joy from other people eating my food and they're like, oh wow, that is so good. Like that alone is enough to fill me up without even eating the but, food. But um help me ask her. Has she cooked for me since she came here? Okay. She came here yesterday. I came here yesterday. You said I will see in this life, I love receipts, right? I remember you said, Oh, Tenny, so I cooked stew for you. So when you come, you have something to eat. You could just borrow us. I'm like, Yes, yeah, fine. But I remember telling her that, okay, well, because Tabitha cooks a main jollof rice, right? So I told her, I said, Tabitha, is your jollof rice? I actually want to cook. What to eat? And she's like, No, I'm not cooking jollof rice. When you come, okay, we'll cook it together. Okay. And I was like, Sure, no problem, right? Tell me why I got here and she was already cooking the jollof rice. And she's like, I didn't cook. When you already cook one pot of jollof rice, what am I supposed to do after that? You look this, for something else to cook in this life. Not about me, I don't like wasting food. Mm. When someone cook the food, I will eat it. Actually, we know, but I know you want you so many much stress. Let's forget about that, <laughs> anyways. Yeah. So, the first question oh. what was your first impression of me when you met me? Like the first time you ever met me. Remember, you met me when I was 15 years old. Mm. So let me think. So, when I first met Tenny, mm -hmm. hold on. Give me another question because I, <laughs> I, I, I need to like go back to when I first met you. Okay. Because there were two meetings. If I should say the one we met in Lagos, mm -hmm. is 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 blurry. The right. vision is blurry. I think it kinda is. Yeah. Yeah. But when we met, yeah. After all the stress you put everybody through to get to Shreveport. <laughs> I didn't even know if I was spoken about that on my YouTube channel. But my coming yeah. to the, state, the United States of America. Hey! Yeah. Jesus Christ! I am, it was stressful. It was stressful. Yeah. See, if you guys that were here expecting me to come and saying it was stressful, imagine me. I left yeah. Nigeria Friday. I didn't get you until Sunday evening. Right. <laughs> I know. Ah, But she was... um. Tenny was. Tenny was. I'm still alive. No, I mean, when, <laughs> well, yeah, she. He, 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 she Only still, when you yeah. met me. But when I met ah, uh, when I met you. Ah, uh, please don't. When I meet I'm you, I should say when I meet you. No, when I first you met you. Okay, when I first you met were, her, like, she is alive, <laughs> and she want me to tabon. I said, what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, when I first met you, you were then you can use past tense. But yeah, like, no, no, I but you were like, I met, no, you were like, she was, and I'm like, I am still very much alive. No, I thought I said when I met you. No, you were like, eh, you did, did you? Oh, I did, I think. You I did? did? I don't know. Okay, anyway. Yeah, don't distract me, and, and uh -huh. my phone is, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. See, that's what happens. Let me put my phone on. When you're Odogu's wife, you have them left and right. Hey. Odogu, Odogu, we are looking for, <laughs> no, no, let me follow you on your, <laughs> she's looking for Odogu. <laughs> No, Polowo, I'm Polowo and I'm looking for money. Actually. It's the fact that she but tries to anyways. speak Yoruba for me. She's looking for the. See, let's be looking push. for money. Let's be posh. Jesus Christ, mo, she did looking not. for money. And anyway, so now when I first met Danny, uh -huh. she was this child that I could not get off. 
of me she was she was just all over the place but she was a respectful girl i wasn't though. all over the place kind of when you say i'm all over the place like i was making friends here and there no, i was always no, going no, out no you were you were like looking for a sister yeah like and i no no see the thing is i'm the last one and i've never had a younger sister so it was strange to me at first until i got used to it yeah so then it was like oh who is this girl but then i began to fall in love with her because she is quite charming i so, am yeah yeah it's just i mean like when i came like you guys okay one thing you guys should remember was i was a child when i came a child that had never left her parents before mm -hmm. so when i came it was like i needed that sense of home yeah and i feel like okay. i got that with you like mm -hmm. having that sense of home that sense of that familiar sense you know like mm -hmm. okay you know because like i knew in nigeria so i was able yeah. to get that sense of you know yeah, like, I, I can, know her. Like, yes yeah she's she's not in this strange land i am there's one familiar face exactly fact fact and i understand yeah i, I do understand it because yeah. it was almost I, I, even if i um i can say i was grown when i came here but still it was still strange living mm -hmm. everything you know yeah you're used to. living in nigeria and there's just coming here and oh it's it was it's strange for every one of us but i mean god helped us I mean, I feel like we all have our different experience. Like, if you ask different people, they will have different experiences. Right. But I think one thing everyone can say, well, not everyone, mm -hmm. because I mean, for those that came here and they were living with family, may not have it. But I think we all had our lonely phase. Like, I think that's one thing we all had, like yeah. that phase where it was just so lonely. Mm -hmm. like, so, like, you felt like you were doing life by yourself. You know what? Speaking of, let me ask you this question, yeah? When you came to the United States, was it what you were expecting? No. What? <laughs> no. So, okay, can you tell us what you were expecting and what you meant? I was expecting life to be way easier for me. Mm. I was... America was portrayed to me like the land of gold. You just walk down it. Oh, I'm exaggerating, but it was like I mean, you, you, you. It was. It's gonna be very easy to get a job. Right. I'll be able to like go to school and easily. Yeah, and get um financial assistance. Yes, yeah. the assistance, financial assistance, would be very easy for me to get. Right. And go to school, complete my school, and go about living my life. Right. Accommodation was going to be very easy to mm -hmm. get and all. Yeah. And then I got here. It was, it was crazy. First off, I I landed in New Jersey, <laughs> and the New Jersey story is the story for another day. It took like three three days, um, bus rides to Shreveport. I got there. I was staying among guys. Oh, it was, it don't. Was, it, it was, yeah. I think and, that was, yeah, that was so shocking. And then, yeah, it, it was, but, well, after a while, we, we, I wouldn't say we were able to get a balance, but. I mean, sometimes you just have to deal just, with yeah, the hand yes, you were given. Yes. And, you just have to adjust. I think that's another thing that we all had to learn is like, you can't be rigid in what you, you have to yeah. you have to become very flexible yeah and i've never had to like also to get things i've never had to like struggle everything it, no, I, I didn't come, privilege. I, whatever i didn't like come from a rich family or anything mm -hmm. but like but that awesome spirit was not in me but i had to like get it when i go here even till now, I'm still like trying to adjust. I still need the bottle. I need, I need yes, to be pumped yeah, out as a baby girl. girl, you know. <laughs> but you know, we are just living the life that I mean, I don't know. Do we thank God for how far we've come? Oh, yes, I'm grateful. Yeah. I, I'm so grateful. You know, speaking girl. of the fact that we have to live with guys, oh my gosh, okay. that one, eh? Okay. I was, you know, I think for you, when you came, you were even living with more guys. Yeah. When I came, and they I was the only one to until so money came. came and then you came and. But at the time I came, I think like three guys had left the house. 
But even with that, I was still living with like three guys, and it was strange. Like yeah. that was very strange for me. And like, like I would always say, I grew up in a very content yeah. family mm -hmm. in the sense that you know, like even well, I don't think I really have any male cousins, but like even when my male cousins came, I. Like my dad is like, okay, you gonna sit down there. Like, yeah. You, my, my dad is very, yes. very conservative, yes. right? So, there were so many things that when I came, I was like, okay, yeah. first of all, I have to share a bathroom with a guy. Oh, right. Okay, yes. Oh, wow. Like, yes. Yes. even I, I never shared a bathroom with my dad. Like, mm, you know? Okay. Yeah, it's always like, because we're all girls. So, my right. dad really respected our space. And it's like, oh, wow. So, that was actually really strange for me. And it's just a lot of things for me when I came was, yeah. <laughs> it was strange. It yeah, was, it was. Oh my was gosh. Okay, yeah, this is an experience. It's a funny experience. It's, like it, it was. When I say, is it irony or what was the the word they use for? No, not irony. But like, there's a word. If sweet sad, it's had sweet. Uh, bitter sweet experience. Bitter sweet experience. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's yeah. I think and it's then, something where. Tabon, we were no, no. no, but I think it's something <laughs> where now we can look back on and yeah, laugh, and about, laugh it about it and be like, exactly. oh wow. But in that moment, it wasn't no, funny. Not it. Yeah. it was not mm -hmm, funny. Mm -hmm. like, me, you and Money were like sleeping in warm on <laughs> on one bed. <laughs> on one bed. <laughs> but you know the good thing was the fact that we all had one room. But like I think you were working overnight. Uh, yeah, so so no. okay, it was just me yeah, and money. Yeah. And then in I mean, the morning when you come, me and me and money will have got to, to go to school. So I was like, okay. yeah. But anytime yeah. we all we are told we had to, it was just it was, it was yes. something. And I'm someone that has this mood swing. So when I enter my space, it's just like, oh god, I need people out of here. Yeah. I wanna be in my space. We always wanted our space. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Now looking back, it's just like yeah. wow, crazy. When we survived that, and look at we us did. now. We, we thank God for that. Yep, you know. Yep. Yeah. Thank you all for watching this um video today. Mm -hmm. We hope and we want you to subscribe if you have not. Hit the bell, the notification notification bell. bell. Like, comment, share. Instagram, WhatsApp, Facebook, TikTok. Can you do that? I don't know. But any platform you have, 